Hey guys, welcome to Life's Biggest Questions. I'll be your host, Jared Bronstein, and today we'll be answering the question, what if the sun was blue? Let me know what you think would happen in the comments down below, and of course, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our newest videos. As always, I got some comment replies from a previous video coming at you at the end of this one, but for the time being, let's jump right into this one and start exploring. As many of you know, and some of you probably don't know, the sun is referred to as a yellow dwarf, and as hot as it is, it's not nearly as hot as it would be if it were blue. I know that may be crazy to hear. The sun is literally so hot, if anyone or anything got too close, and by too close, we're not even talking that close, they would deteriorate from being burned so badly. But believe it or not, the sun is actually one of the cooler stars out there. Depending on a star's color, you can make a rough estimate as to how hot it may be. The coolest stars are light orange red or pale yellow orange, whereas the hottest stars are blue or a deep blue white. However, color can also determine a star's age and distance. Usually blue stars are younger and much closer in distance, so with that in mind, it's safe to say if our sun was blue, well it would simply be due to the fact that not only is it a young star, but it's also closer to Earth and much, much hotter. Aside from the fact that Earth's temperature would be much warmer due to the proximity of the Sun in relation to the Earth, the Sun's actual temperature would also be much hotter. This, of course, is not ideal for us on Earth. As we know, we're already battling climate change. The Earth is already getting hot at alarming rates. If our Sun was blue, based on science, that would mean it's closer and a lot hotter. Unfortunately, that doesn't end well for us, or really anyone or anything on Earth. If the Sun were to go up in temperature, and come closer in proximity, and we're talking maybe a hundred million miles closer, well everything would easily be burnt to a crisp. There really would be no way for us to possibly survive with the sun coming down on the earth so hot. But just to say everything would burn isn't very fun. So let's see what would actually happen step by step. Firstly, yes, we die a horrible death of being burnt alive. It would be painful and and quite awful actually. The entire earth would actually burn down from your house to all the trees, cars, highways, quite literally everything. The oceans would boil to a point that they would actually just turn into steam or a moisture of sorts, and the earth's crust would certainly also break down, exposing the middle of the earth as well. Of course, none of this is really beneficial for anyone or anything living on planet earth, but I think it's quite clear we all die. But how would the sun affect other planets if it were blue? Aside from the insane rise in temperature a blue star emits, they are also much, much larger. Blue stars all have masses that are at least three times that of the sun, if not greater. And to give you an idea of how big the sun really is, you could fit approximately 1.3 million planet Earths inside of the sun. So imagine that times three, at least. And it would be way, way hotter. Now that we understand Earth is out of the way, and would probably turn the dust altogether, what other planets could be affected and how? Well, ultimately, it would change our entire solar system and universe. Aside from losing an entire planet in Earth, which would throw off the solar system as we know it, there are also a handful of other planets that would certainly be affected by this. Mercury and Venus being closer to the Sun than Earth would certainly be completely destroyed by our new, bigger, hotter Sun. Mars would also have its fate sealed due to the fact that, you know, the Sun just got way bigger than it was before. But those are the terrestrial planets. The planets that are rocky on the surface. How would the sun growing in size and temperature affect the Jovian planets? Like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune? Well, if science gives us any indication, gas plus heat doesn't usually end up with anything less of an explosion. Truthfully, I'm no scientist, so I can't say for sure what would happen, but based on science, I think it's safe to say all four of the previously mentioned planets would most certainly explode. Who knows what other planets unknown to us are also in our universe, but if the sun were to grow to the point that it's considered a blue star, well, it would pretty much destroy most of the planets or asteroids and whatever else is in space within a certain proximity. This would completely change our universe as we know it. The explosions could possibly birth another planet. At this point, it's a lot of speculation because I can't say for sure what would happen after the blue sun destroyed all the planets and most of what's in space as we know it. What I can say for sure is that every planet in the solar system would definitely be destroyed with some of the planets literally exploding. But who knows? Maybe that's how our solar system came to be in the first place. Maybe the the sun being a blue star was the big bang that started everything as we know it, and that's how we ended up where we currently are. Either way, it shouldn't be much of a concern because our sun is way past the point of ever being a blue star. But the sun being blue? Well, that actually has happened before. It seems when there are tons of fires happening or a volcano is spewing out dust, it can turn the sun blue. This happens because the dust from the volcano or fires spread across the atmosphere and filters out the red rays coming from the sun. This leads the sun to appear more blue than normal, but that's based on our perception of what's in the atmosphere. In reality, the sun is still its normal old white, or so it appears to us at least. And on that note, guys, now that we all know how awful it'd be if the sun was in fact blue, let's reply to some comments from the video, what if gargoyles came to 
to life. Pastor Pee Wee said, What about garden gnomes? Are they real? I've seen convincing video to suggest they are. No, garden gnomes, I mean, they're real, yeah, but they don't come to life. Like, you could get them, but they won't, like, kill you. That's like a, a Goosebumps episode, I think. Don't worry about that. Wizpop said, I have one. Why is SpongeBob the main character when Patrick is the star? That actually, that comment actually shook me to the core. I didn't even know how to respond. It's SpongeBob's show, because it's about his life, but Patrick is the star of everything, because he's Patrick Star. Code Havoc said, Just a tip, it's pronounced Pagan. 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 It's pronounced Pagan. I can't even pronounce the comment properly. What did I say? Pagan? 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 I think I said Pagan, and you guys called me out because I didn't say Pagan. I don't know, guys. What do you want from me? I make videos. I'm bound to make mistakes. Can't pronounce everything properly. Half the things that I look up online aren't even pronounced properly. So, you know what? I'll give you guys my sources for how I pronounce things, and then you guys can let me know if it's right or wrong, because half the time I'm wrong. And on that note, guys, I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure to subscribe. Click that bell to never miss a video. Give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below how you'd feel if the sun was a blue star. We'll see you guys in the next one.